Hello. It's me. I feel like the least played class in the game could be the most fun with just a couple of small changes. Nothing too big at all. In order to do that, we would have to shift things around a bit, but I think it would be for the better. Are you interested yet? You should be. Let's discuss throwing knives and the combat runner. If you're new here, thanks for checking out the video. To give you some background on myself, I go by Honest. I've been playing Crunker for you know, two to three months at this point, and I recently finished my red challenge level. I'm super excited about that, and now I'm working on Nuke Tamer. I have a background as a competitive player for titles uh, including Overwatch, Counter-Strike, uh, Go, and Source, World of Warcraft, and a very short stint in Valorant most recently. With that in mind, let's discuss the runner class and throwing knives. So the best place to start with this would be discussing the throwing knife to begin with right now in the game. It's fun, let's be honest. However, Crunker is a game that revolves around class balancing. That means that each class is designed to be good against some and weak against others. For instance, the sniper class is great versus most 100 HP classes or less, but it is weaker against the machine gunner who can survive a headshot from the sniper, but produces less damage overall to make it relatively balanced against other classes. Of course, there is still skill involved, and these matchups don't automatically result in a win or loss, but it plays a strong role. The throwing knife negates all of the game design principles behind the class system, since classes like the sniper can now one-shot a machine gunner, and the low damage output machine gunner can one-shot any other 100 or more HP class. In fact, the machine gunner can even one-shot the machine gunner. It's madness. So how can the throwing knife be fair and balanced is the question. My suggestion is make it do 59 damage. That way, it would not one-shot any class, and it would be used as a tool in a player's kit to utilize in situations where ammo is low or the thrower is in a pinch. This makes players think more about their equipment usage and raises the skill ceiling of the game. The current throwing knife actually reduces the skill ceiling by making the knife work in almost any situation which ultimately hurts the game. With this proposed change in mind, let's discuss how it could actually help the runner class, something that we really don't see played all that often. Just take a second and imagine the runner class was played as much as every other class in the game. That'd be pretty neat, huh? It would add a whole new element to the game, right? Let's make that happen. The class would be viable if it was given three non-reloadable knives. That way, it's able to take on any class if the player's skilled and hits consecutive throws. To make it so it can be played throughout an entire round and possibly maybe we'll even see nukes from it, each kill should reload its knives, regardless of how that kill is made. Fist, throw, stab, whatever, reloads the inventory of knives. It would be really fun to watch and fun to play, and that's a huge win for the game. So that's pretty much all I had to say about the current situation with throwing knives in the runner class. I think we could take a pain point for many of Crunker's players and turn it into a unique and interesting draw to the game. Let me know what you think below if you'd like. I reply to every comment that comes my way. I'm just being honest. Bye.